Okay, let me just stick this. <clears throat> hey guys, this is Michael from Conquer Chemistry. In today's video, we'll be talking about how to predict the signs of delta S, which is the sign of the change in entropy. Let's first start off with the definition of entropy, and then we'll talk about the factors of entropy, and then lastly, we'll go over some practice problems to reinforce what we learned. So entropy is defined as either chaos, disorder, randomness, or the number of possibilities. The more chaos, the more disorder, the more random, and the more number of possibilities there are, the greater the entropy will be. So what are some factors that will affect entropy? First, the physical state. Solids have the least entropy, liquids have more, and then gases have much more because gases have a greater degree of freedom and more movement than liquid and solids do. The second factor that affects entropy is the amount of substance. The more substance we have, the greater entro the entropy will be. So for example, if we have one mole of substance versus two moles of substance, then the two moles will have greater entropy than the one moles will. Third thing, temperature. The higher the temperature, the greater the entropy. And that's because if you have a higher temperature, then the molecules will move faster, so it will be more random, more chaotic. Fourth, volume and pressure. Higher volumes slash lower pressure, because these are inverse related, will lead to a greater entropy. So imagine if you have a small container versus a larger container, and you have the same number of moles in there, three moles of gas, three moles of gas, there's a lot more space in the second container for these gases to move around. So there's a greater number of possibilities where these gases can be, and that's why there will be a greater entropy in the second container compared to the first container. And then lastly, size. The larger the molecules, the greater the entropy, because larger molecules will have more bonds, so there'll be more movement. Also, there's more electrons, so there's more movement. Great, now let's take a look at some practice problems to reinforce what we've learned. So for each of these practice problems, our goal is to predict the sign of delta S, uh, whether the entropy is increasing or decreasing for each of these. For the first one, we have a reaction. Mag two magnesium plus oxygen forms two magnesium oxide. So for reactions, the first thing we want to look at are the states. We have a solid, two solids reacting with a gas to form two solids. Since we're going from something that's more disordered to something that's less disordered, there's going to be a decrease in entropy because you're essentially going from two solids and a gas to just two solids. For the second one, we have ammonia gas at 2 atm becoming ammonia gas at 1 atm. Here we have the same substance, the same state, the only difference is there was a decrease in pressure. And when there's a decrease in pressure, there means there's an increase in volume. So we have this situation again where since we have an increase in volume, there means there's more possibilities, so there's going to be a greater entropy. For the third one, we have another reaction, N2O4 gas becoming 2 NO2 gas. Here we have gases on both sides, so there's no change in state. Here we want to just look at the, the amount of substance on each side. We have one mole of gas on the left-hand side and two moles of gas on the right-hand side. So there, since there's an increase in the number of moles, there's going to be an increase in entropy, hence the delta S will be positive. You might also get, get questions that look like this, where instead of giving you a reaction, you're given a, a word statement. So the first thing we have is water vapor condenses at 100 degrees Celsius. I'm just going to tr turn this into a reaction. We have H2O gas becoming H2O liquid. Here we just have a strict phase change. We have a gas becoming liquid. We have something that's more chaotic becoming something that's less chaotic. So that means the delta S will be negative. There was a decrease in entropy. Next one, we have a really complicated looking reaction, but this is breaking down. It's not that bad. When you have a reaction, you want to just really focus on the gases because the gases have much more entropy than the liquids and solids. So we have 14 gas on the left-hand side because these are solid liquids. I can just ignore them. Becoming 3 gas, 17 gas, and 10 gas. We add the total number of gases together and we get 30 moles of gas on the right-hand side. So I have 14 moles becoming 30 moles. That's an increase in the number of moles. So that means there was an increase in entropy and so delta S is positive. Lastly, you might also get these type of problems. So we have a we have two two containers with a valve between them, and the valve is closed. And we know it's closed because all the gases are on the left hand side. Then the valve is open, and then the gas is spread out. So here we can. There's a couple ways we could think of this. We could think of this easiest ways to think of it in terms of an increase in volume. We are only utilizing one of the containers before, and then we open the valve, so we doubled the volume. So since we're doubling the volume, we're increasing the number of possibilities, and that's going to lead to an increase in entropy, and so delta S will be positive. Essentially, this is related to more possibilities. 
um, due to the doubling of volume. And there you go. We just went over five practice problems to predict the signs of delta S. When you get a problem, you really can just think back to these factors that affect entropy, and that can help you predict the sign of delta S. If you want to learn how to ace chemistry, if you want to learn what's the best way to study for this class, if you want to learn some neat tricks and tips to take into your exam and do better on them, then you should head over to my website and get this free guide, uh, 12 Secrets to Ace in Chemistry. You can head over to www.conquerchemistry.com slash chemsecrets. I'm going to include a link in the description below. Check it out. I think it's really going to help you, and you're going to, you're going to like it. Until next time, keep working hard and continue the good work.